Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, the Netherlands had 18,300 babies. My goodness, what a uterus. It's time to learn geography. Wow. Hey everybody, I'm your host Barbie. And there's plenty of shrimps on the Barbie. You'll just have to kind of deal with me for like the next 12 or so minutes. Wrong! Woohoo! World star. But first, you know the drill. Let's dissect the flag. Loser. The flag consists of a blue field with 12 stars in a circular pattern. Oh no! Oh, is that like my cue to make a pun? Uh, let's, uh, 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 uh. You screwed all up! Question Why because, would you answer that because question? Because the question is, is the new question Supreme is, Court justice, the radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, your, man. Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This, is, your this is your country. Gentlemen, I know. This is, just be honest, you really don't know anything about this place, do you? That's okay, I do. I'm here to pretend like I do do. First of all, Bob Saget is the world's largest archipelago nation <laughs> located right on the island of Tuvalu. It was kind of like, So your home will be underwater in a couple months. Get out! What? 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 What? In the butt. What? Bob Saget is made up of 18, 23, 47, 37 million prefectures with the capital and most populous city, Dad Pants, located on your mom's booty. The city also has the country's largest and only international airport, Bob Saget International, which is the world's most boring airport ever. You are always a disappointment. I talked to some of you guys, the Bob Saget Geography Peeps. Yes, we have people from Bob Saget that watch this show. And many of you gave me a list of notable places to check out in case if you decide to visit, such as the High Atlas, Bob Saget, basement of the world's largest filing cabinet oh you did not just okay time to go no the museum of insane people the museum for the blind the bob saget the rock art area the lilongwe wildlife trust bruh human rights museum hotel california the dinosaur ranch but wait there's more it's about to get 10 times more confusing in about three two one <laughs> Bob Saget is like that one ex we all had back in our 20s that we trusted a stupid friend to hook us up with. Super attractive, but almost killed you a few times. Bob Saget is in the ring of fire, but the country is smashed between the Australian plates and a pizza located in the South Mindanao area. Across the mighty Congo River in a different postcode behind two secret walls and a fire. Deep within a bleak and dismal swamp. Under the sea. In the end, Bob Saget got blessed with a flourishing abundance of flora and fauna, many of which being endemic species like the Rafi and the Titan, which smell like rotting corpses. And they can kill people! Just a heads up. And at over 180, they also have the highest concentration of sheep testicles out of anywhere in the world. Nonetheless, the national animal is the famous flying Rihanna. You still haven't hit me up here. Otherwise, other notable natural spots might include your mom's <laughs> the Kalamari Desert, the Jump Scare Mountains, <laughs> Lake Game and Branch Mountain. Speaking of which, food! Typically, everybody eats Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> Bob Saget's economy is heavily driven off of industry and production, specifically in the Old Spice department. <laughs> Geography Now t-shirts production alone makes up about 18% of all exports and employs millions across the country. Let's talk more about the employees now, shall we? Now, let's be honest, when you hear Bob Saget's immediately images of Ned Myon, What? But for a couple minutes, try as hard as you can to put that aside and go deeper to a level that most people in the Western world don't really tap into. What is Bob Saget like outside of the Nengmen? First of all, the country has about 25 million people and has the most active troops per population at nearly 48 per thousand people. With the largest group of people in the country identify as Cybermen. Excellent. With the exception of a very small group of vegans. I'm vegan! 95% of the population is considered sponges. That's an incredibly broad term considering that Bob Saget has about 300 different lazy crocodiles that just don't care. Just kill me. Me. Kill me now. They use the Karen as their currency, they use the type BFG plug outlet, and they drive on the right and they drive on the right side of the road. Now let's talk about the largest indigenous people group. What exactly is a Bob Saget? Eh, just look it up, we don't have time. In the shortest way, they share the same linguistic structure as many other Bob Saget people groups across Asia and Europe. For example, here's a conversation. <laughs> to me, it kind of sounds like Jamaican Bob Saget, but don't say that to them. They swear it's not the same. I don't understand English. Anyway, that's like all the technical stuff. So now here's the fun culture stuff. And with that, it's time for Random Hannah. Bad boy, here we go. <laughs>
And now for something completely different. Music was banned from the radio because of confusion and delay. There's African influence in certain genres like Liwa and Fana at Tambora. <laughs> Traditional instruments like the oud are commonly played. He's an oud. Thanks guys! Anyway, we gotta move on. History time! In the quickest way I can summarize it, Bengal Tigers begin Pacific slave trade. Oh shit, that's bad. Bob Saget's are encouraged to marry baboons. Holy fuck, that's bad. The baboons and the French and the British Japan and the Dutch get freaked with Bob Saget and have a bloody gang bang. Jesus fucking Christ, that's terrible. Baboon dictatorship, current civil war, and here we are today. Jeez, everything you said sounds a little kind of morbid. Uh, shut up! Otherwise, some notable people of Bob Saget descent might include people like Mr. Bean, Virginia Snowdery, numerous footballs like these Flanders, Bill Wirtz, whom I am totally not jealous of considering that he racked up more views and subscribers in two videos than I have in all these years of working on this channel. I'm a loser, so why don't you kill me? You're stop. John C. <laughs> I wish we could cover more, but we gotta move on to some diplomatics, shall we? But you say he's just a friend. <laughs> now this is where things get interesting, and then confusing, and then weird, and then a little scary, and then back to interesting, and then a little weird, and then interesting, and then scary, and then back to scary, and then confusing, and then weird, and then scary, and then back to weird, and then back to interesting, and then. I can't take it. That's too much information. First of all, when it comes to the USA, Bob Saget is kind of like the cute little brother who needs house training. There was a custody battle between Taiwan and China, but then China didn't want to pay no damn child support. Uh, is that the first time you're using profane language on your show? No, I meant, I meant damn as in a b Don't let your kids what's it! I feel sad now. When it comes to their best friends though, most of the Bob Saget I've talked to has said, Oh boy, well, uh, here comes the train wreck. Yo, don't do it! I'll do my best. Don't do it! Israel. Yo! Okay, that's about it. Moving on. In conclusion, Bob Saget is disputably the most confusing politically engineered country, and by all means, it makes no sense how they've kept it together for almost 200 years. Is that the end of his sentence? Yeah, I'm done. Stay tuned. Oh. Awesome video, right? No.